guys, welcome back, and hello to you new people too. Phaedra says hello. Today I'm going to bring you some what's new in cruelty-free beauty. First up, Fiorne has released a bunch of new perfumes. They created an Etsy store to sell perfumes, and I bought a couple of them. I can tell you about two of them so far. I bought Ananas, which is described as a pineapple upside down cake. The notes are baked fresh pineapple, brown sugar, and a hint of yellow cake. This starts out very pineapple-y on me and then dries down to the brown sugar, and then I smell brown sugar for hours. So I like it, but not as well as some of my other pineapple scents. I gather that pineapple scents are actually pretty hard to do because I personally would prefer the pineapple to stick around, but I got lots and lots of brown sugar. I'm gonna try layering this with some of my other perfumes to see what happens. And I also bought a sample of Stormy Sunset. Stormy Sunset is vanilla and red of cordial, a touch of fresh coconut and bitter orange, balanced with a bit of cedar and amber. So when I put this one on, I smell the cordial and the orange um, right away. And then eventually it dries down to the cedar and that ends up turning into sort of like a cedar incense note on me. Not really my thing, but not bad. It's definitely an interesting and I'm glad I got a sample of it to try. Next, Darling Girl recently released some MILFs. These are mattes I'd like to find. I think I will be reviewing this collection from Darling Girl soon. Two of the colors that I'm particularly interested in are Bodice Ripper, which is like a plummy brown, Afternoon Delight, which is a like pinky plum color. Geek Chic has just released their afternoon tea collection. I'm really interested in checking this one out because it's like six different shades and there's a lot of like blues and purples and you know I'm really into purple obviously and the colors look like they're a little bit duochrome-y so I think that they'll be very interesting. Sugar Pill has just released their Pretty Poison collection which is a collection of four black lipsticks or blackened lipsticks. There's Anti-Socialite, which is a black and burgundy, which I think looks amazing. There's Dark Sided, which is a deep plum. There's Zero, which is a black. And there's Shiver, which is like a cobalt blue metallic. They look gorgeous. As you know, Urban Decay just released their Vice Special Effects Lip Top Coat. You can get those at Ulta and probably at Sephora, but I know I saw them for sure at Ulta. But they also came up with a whole bunch of skincare stuff that looks really interesting. There's a cleansing oil stick, a skin polish exfoliator, a makeup prep hydrating gel, which I would be interested in because you know I have dry skin. A makeup prep pore refining peel, which I'm guessing is for more oily skin types. They came out with new eyeshadow primers. There's caffeine, which is like a deep chocolate for um, deeper skin tones. There's sin, which is a pink champagne. And there's a new one that's for like um, the Urban Decay Edge for women, which is, a, which is called Fix, which is like a beige shade. Kat Von D has a new lipstick set coming out. It's gonna launch April 11th. It's the Rock Candy set. Every single color in it looks amazing. They are all colors I like because there's a bunch of pinks, there's a purple, there's like a, what I call living dead girl color, like that gray beige pink type color, love that. Anastasia Beverly Hills is releasing a new kit that looks like it's a sister kit to the Moon Child. It looks like it has a bunch of blues in it. I'm kind of excited about it. It's called the Aurora Kit. So I have the Moonchild Kit and I really like it. The colors are definitely colors that I think are flattering on my skin tone, but I don't end up reaching for it as much as I reach for the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. So I'm kind of torn as to whether or not I'm gonna buy it, but I definitely think it looks really nice. And if you're somebody who loves iridescent tones, you'll probably love it as well. So on Wednesday, the Nikki Tutorials Ofra collaboration is going live. I actually just received that collaboration from Ofra, so I will be reviewing it. I think the lip colors in it look really interesting. The highlighter, I'm not so sure about. Like, it looks like I could use part of the highlighter since it was like a white color, so it looks like it would probably work on my skin tone. The other two shades are like a a bronze and a copper that probably would be pretty as eyeshadows. ColourPop keeps releasing these monochromatic waves. So right now I guess phase three is out, which is sand, everything like beige colors, like for the lips and the cheeks and the eyes. So if you're a fan of monochromatic colors and you're not really sure how to put that together from your own collection, you could look at this collection to get ideas or you can just pick it up. They also have a pink and a peach. Jeffree Star Cosmetics has a collaboration with Manny MUA and I was actually kind of surprised because it looks like it's one of the most boring collaborations I've seen. The highlighter looks really generic and so do the lip colors, but that's just me. Those, they're just not colors I would gravitate towards. It'll be available April 8th. We Hair Care is coming out with hair supplements for different hair types. So they have one for oily hair, for dry hair, and then for thinning hair. I'm a little skeptical about this, but then again, I do take biotin for my hair, so who knows? I just take biotin because I've always heard it's good for your hair and your nails. I've never heard of targeting like specifically thinning hair or dry hair or oily hair. So 
I'm a little skeptical, but I'm also a little curious about this. I think that's gonna launch April 7th. On April 3rd, you're gonna be able to pre-order the latest BH Cosmetics collaboration. This is BH and Carly Bible. It's their her new updated palette. I was looking at the swatches and they actually, actually look pretty good. So if you're a fan of Carly Bible, you might want to pick that up. And last but not least, Too Faced is releasing a glitter bomb palette. Now I'm actually kind of interested in this because it looks like it's a bunch of fun colors and I feel like it's been forever since Too Faced has done something fun. Unfortunately, it's not launching until June 17th, so like the day before my birthday. So it's a long ways away. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed hearing about the new releases that are coming out in Cruelty Free Beauty. Are any of these tempting you? Please be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up and share. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss my next video. Thanks so much for watching.